What's up guys, it's your favorite twins and today is a special day because we're finally reacting to 5 Sauce 5. This entire time I've been saying 5 So's 5. Yeah, I've never known how to Like General So's. It sounds about right. 5 Seconds of Summer has released their fifth studio album and I'm actually really excited to get into this. You guys have been requesting this a lot. I love pop rock music. I also love exploring new artists, new bands, and 5 Seconds of Summer has been on our radar for a while. I know their album Calm is another one that I want to get into, but I, I don't know, like I'm just, I'm new here, okay? I don't know what's happening, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm very intrigued. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with 5 Seconds of Summer, obviously I do know of them, but I will say my favorite song by them is Young Blood. This bandana is squeezing my head. But no, like Jordan said, I really am excited to explore a new boy band. Obviously the last time we did that, we ended up with Why Don't We? And that was a huge success. So yeah, I'm excited. I don't want to do too much talking. I'm ready to jump right in. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have been able to tell, but we no longer have a table here. We do not. We're just seeing what it feels like. You know, we like to move when we listen and with the yeah. table, we felt a little restricted. So I'm trying to dance, shake my tail feather a little bit. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, let's get into 5 Sauce 5. Before we get started, we just wanted to shout out the sponsor of today's video, Fans Custom. Fans Custom is a really cool website where you can design your own custom jerseys, shirts, hats, shorts, basically everything in your closet. The hoodies are dope. Now they gave us the really cool opportunity to design our own custom jersey. As you can see, we went with a classic blue. You know, we got the name Bascom because we're Team Bascom. Then we got the 18, you know that's our favorite number. On the back we got twins. It fits really nice, it's breathable, it's comfortable. If you're interested in designing your own custom jersey, go ahead and click that link in the description and use our code BASCOM for 10% off. I mean, who don't want a jersey? Big thank you to Fans Custom for sponsoring this video. If you want, you guys can post your jerseys and tag us anywhere on social media at the BASCOM Twins. And remember, if you want to see the full length reaction to this album, head over to our Patreon. You won't regret it. Okay, sounds like we outside. like a commercial or an ad or something. Yeah, this sounds very familiar. Y'all know what I I'm talking about. I love the first verse. So that was Luke. Yeah. I don't know any of the bandmates. I don't know any of these people. I also learned that they're Australian. Which is... They're the bandmates. I'm telling you. From Australia. Such talented... Oh they're mates. God. Get it? They're mates. No. Bandmates no, from I, Australia. No, we got it. I can be a bandmate from Australia. <laughs> you can't be a bandmate from Australia. <laughs> That's that, what are you trying to say? I am whatever I want to be and you're mad about it. I really like the double. You make me complete, and but you also make, make me a complete, complete mess. mess. I need you to complete me in a sense. Yeah. But me needing you and you completing me and, uh, makes me a complete, complete mess. Because yeah. like, it's low key like kind of like a kind of unhealthy. Yeah. this very interesting because that is such a mellow start mm -hmm. to an album but oddly it worked like my favorite part of the song are the verses like that yeah. melody yeah. is so catchy like yeah. oh my gosh and like the way they were able to just I, I loved it I love what the Definitely. verses you know uh, and capture, but like, yeah, such an interesting start. Yeah, I'm already seeing that we're getting into some pop rock elements, oh, which absolutely. I expected, but I yeah. really like. Yeah. I think that's, I don't, mm. I'm wondering if that sets the tone for the rest of the album. Because something tells me that the album is going to take off, 
but yes. maybe we're starting from the genesis of something. Yeah, okay, so I wanted to shout out the members. We got Luke Hemmings, the lead vocalist and rhythm guitarist. Okay. Our lead guitarist, Michael Clifford. Okay. Bassist, Callum Hood, Calum. And drummer, Ashton Irwin. Okay. I think it's important to shout you guys out because I feel like we're gonna get to know each other yes. very well. But I like Complete Mess. I like that as yeah. an introduction. It, I do it, like it, it as a song. song. I'm pretty sure that was the first single off the album. Oh, okay, smart. I know I've heard that somewhere. I know I'm not crazy. Yeah, yeah. I know I've heard it. I've heard that somewhere. But I do like the melody and I'm very intrigued to see what the rest of this album sounds like. Yeah. I see it in moments, it's coming in ways. The sunrise in Sydney. Ah, uh, Sydney, Luke, your voice. I really like it. I really it. like it. There's a warmth in his voice that is very comforting to me. I feel like I've seen a Luke Hemmings somewhere before. Have you heard of a Luke Hemmings? I'm about to be tight when I recognize his face. I don't know much about Five Seconds of Summer, but there's no way you have not seen Luke Hemmings before. I've seen I've seen a Luke Hemmings before. Yeah, I, I've known of a Luke Hemmings. I know you, Luke. As strong and stubborn and stuck in my ways A youth that was stolen and filled with mistakes oh, wow. I turned all the wrong look for someone to blame Ooh. Was that Ashton on the drums? Because, <laughs> because now that that added something very I, special to the song. I love that. I can, at first I couldn't tell if this was talking about like trauma, but then I just it's just it's definitely a song about reflection. I think it's a reflection maybe of their career or maybe their the span of their lives. Yeah, where they started, where they are, where they now. are now. It's like I look at a youth that was stolen and filled with mistakes. Yeah, I turned all around, looked for someone to blame. Just kind of right. like like you're saying, re reflective, but also self reflection too. Yes, about yes. how not only your life has changed, but how you as a person, person have, have changed. changed as well. But also when I think of like easy for you to say, maybe it's speaking on like judgment, like until you're in it. Yeah, because they're saying, you, you like, won't know. I can forget it. That's easy for you to say. But it's right, not the same right. over here. Like, exactly. I can't forget it as easily as somebody else can. Especially, like, if it happened to you or if it's about you and pertaining to you. So, wow. That yeah. was an amazing song. Yeah, like, I'm scared to find a piece of peace of mind. mind. Because I've been operating in this way for so for long. So, exactly. That, exactly. Oh, that is a topic that people don't talk about enough. Yeah. How happiness and peace is scary. Yes. When you've never yes. experienced it, it feels like you're floating. Because like, you're so happiness? used to something holding you down that when it's no longer there you literally feel like unsafe you feel like you're floating yeah. in the air and nothing like there's no anchor if yeah. that makes sense yeah so i think we're understanding the song i think um, so too it was this nostalgia in my bones why can't i forget it so maybe yeah like it's right. trauma or the things that you've or been through or just the things that you've been through like yeah. or like i think more like you said it's easy for the other person to say like right. why can't it's I so embedded it? in you that it's like i can't just Stop being this yeah. way. I can't just forget about it. Like I can't just move on. Yeah lyrically amazing blown out of the water uh -huh. with this song lyrically this that is incredible So this is where I am Oh, I love that oh. on a feeling Driving through the valley just Wow, that's great. 
nothing that I don't already know. Oh, no, 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 I did not sign up for this. That was, that was supreme. Yeah, I genuinely feel like, I feel a little targeted. I do too. Like, I feel like they did that knowing. That we were going to react this way. Yeah. I don't appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Please do more. Love that. Oh, my God. Somebody else. I feel like these kind of go into each other. A little bit. No? Yes? That's probably my favorite one so far. I, I, that, ignoring every omen, ignoring every possible bad sign for you and your future with this somebody. Like, but it's the things that you do for love. My ass is sweating. And I, I, and I get it. And, I, you, and we are wearing gray. Like, my crack is perspiring. I'm sorry. Listen, no, this, it's, this, Wow. Genuinely made me wet. I I have to be honest with you guys. Wow, you know that was good. That was very I good. I think by the end of the album, that is still going to be my favorite because it was that good. Now maybe yeah. prove me wrong. Now if you prove me wrong, if I'm you with prove it. me wrong. But that song was amazing. That like, wasn't amazing. The build in the it built three times. That's what I'm saying. How do you build three times? Exactly. And then by what like the second chorus, you switch the beat up a little bit. I should. Oh my god. I should sue. Every sale you make for this album is going to me. I I'm want suing. part of it. That was an amazing song. That, that I was, have. I like, like three tracks in. Right. No, like I'm pissed. Like that was that was. That I was good. I, very rarely do I get pissed off at how good a song is, but I I'm always pissed. say that I I genuinely like I have a pure hatred. I do loathe yes. talented people. Yeah, like I will because literally punch. There's no reason why you should possess that much talent. There's no reason. There's no reason. This is that was disgusting. Oh. Beautiful. Oh. Oh. I guess I guess I got what I wanted. I never picked up that phone and call. Oh Lord, all these broke cars for miles the one bleeding. But are you catching it? La 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 lie. Lie, lie to myself. So, yeah. That's another one. I love the connection to Easy For You To Say. I love that self-reflective thread that's continuing. Yeah. Notice it's kind of like a pattern right now. We got like a love song. Self-reflective. Love song. Love song. Self-reflective. Self I liked that one though. That was the third single off the album. I can okay. see why. It definitely has the appeal. Yeah. Um, it, was, it definitely felt more rock. Yeah, influence. a little more rock influence. Um, but I liked it. Again, I like yeah. it for that self-reflective um, aspect. No, I did really like that one. It was nice, short, sweet, to the point. Um, mm -hmm. Perfect length, in my opinion. Uh, kind of like you said, I am noticing a little bit of a pattern. It was a nice little break. Yeah. Again, I am really impressed with them lyrically. But yeah, now I'm, sort of, I'm starting to become impressed with them um, like when they harmonize and melodically. Yeah, yeah. More and more and more. It is progressing. And I am seeing the growth just within these first four yeah, songs. That's true. Just how I love how they're playing with different harmonies and different melodies and different ways to sing and doing things that aren't on the beat. And I love it. Yeah. I love it. The, the, the attention to detail, very, yeah. very strong with this group so far. Yeah. 
I definitely feel like this song, the way that it's structured, is more like it's definitely radio friendly. Um, like repeating yes. the first verse again. Yeah, but, which is so honest. Yeah. I, I don't really hear songs that do that as much anymore. anymore. Yeah, it used to be such a so thing. So it's it's cool to hear that. Yeah, but but just repeating it is telling you like this is the point of the song. Yes, like leave it up to me to fuck it up without a good reason. Yeah. Just, I know it was my own fault. I never picked up that phone call. So yeah. again, taking that responsibility and looking within yourself to kind of say like, hey, I'm the reason that I'm all alone. Yeah. A painted heart on a sidewalk. I feel my ego when I talk. Lost myself in the in between. A few more souls on the bus now. Is that when they got famous? Not me saying the bus to hell. <laughs> like the express train to hell, is that what it's yeah. called? I was thinking like that, but there's actually something called the five sauce bus. Oh, I love that they ended with that lyric. Yeah. A few more souls so on, on the, the bus, bus now. now. I really want to understand that. We're driving the bus and people come on the bus and they get off the bus, but we're the only ones that always stay on the bus. And it's like, you idiot, these guys aren't even best friends. They're like brothers to me now. And they're like family. So where the band is, home is, really. That makes a lot of sense. Things change, but certain things always stay the same. Yeah. I love it is that. again, like kinda like you said, to me this is also about reflection because they're saying like yeah. like open eyes in the twenty three, open eyes in seventeen, mm -hmm. like I, and so like Yeah. I'm trying to figure out of those like pivotal moments in their lives or this is all about pivotal moments. Definitely another song about self reflection. I think so, yeah. Um But toward each other, low key. Like take you, you, my like, brother. Like my brother. Take my, my brother. Hand. You know my what brother. I'm saying? Like like that. So maybe more so a song towards Appreciation towards the bandmates. Yeah, and that what they built maybe together. That's, and what they built Probably, together. Yeah. It's take my hand, like... Where they've been, where they're going, maybe? Yeah, like when they take their hands on stage. That or take my hand on this journey. Right, and that let's too. And continue it. That too. Speaking of the bus. Right. I'm telling you, I'm a, very a, a impressed. Lad, it contains a voice memo of Luke Hemmings from when the band was recording Five Sauce Five on the Joshua Tree, Tree National, National Park. Park. Interesting. So okay. that must be that I ending right that. there with the where it sounds like yeah. a phone recording. Oh, That's I love cool. that. That's Very cool. good song. Very personal too. I like yes. personal touches. Yes. Probably so far the most personal. I built it from the ground up just to watch me. Oh, 
very interesting way of Ooh. taking that out. Love I noticed that. that they do that. They always add I love that. some element that is... Because let's be honest, right? With pop rock music... There's always a chance that you could sound generic. Yes. Or that you could sound, for lack of a better word, it's not an insult, but basic. Yeah. It could sound like, oh, okay, yeah, that was like a basic pop rock track. Yeah. But adding these different elements, like that, like something as small as that outro, makes yeah. you feel like, okay, oh, wait, wow, I actually listened was... to something with some thought. And I actually listened and to that's... something. But, but it's also their lyrics, though. I like how they use a lot of uh, metaphors. That's yeah. always my favorite thing because it makes me rewind and say, hmm. What did you mean by that? I like yeah, this, one. this one's topic. I was looking and it was this never-ending cycle, which is again a carousel mm -hmm. um, of like tumultuous events. So the line where it says everybody's living on a one-way ride. I wonder if to them that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think in this song it's a good thing or something that they clearly don't want to stop, which could even describe the lifestyle that they live. Coming off the last song, kind of about their career or yeah. about their, this brotherhood that they've built. Exactly. To have a song like this, it's, you know, always searching for the brightest lights. And like you said, that, that outro definitely made it different from the rest. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm really appreciating is their attention to detail. Details. So that was a good one. I don't want to get older, out to hit on my shoulder, at the photograph. Social. I was gonna say it, it could have gone again. It could have gone Fuck. again. I it hope gone that, again. that ending they could have extended that and then did another chorus. Listen, oh, that, that omens sexy. and older are equally my favorites. Those are the two best. Equal. Songs. Hell yeah! Oh, I love that. Okay. If it's if it's negative, <laughs> shove it up your ass. <laughs> you, I, will end this, I will end it right here. We okay. can end on my thought. Keep it. Uh, <laughs> keep it G. So look. <laughs> I would have to be in the mood for that one because to me it has such like a classic mm -hmm. vintage old time feel very classic that it, it honestly very movie like mm. and my, like that could be uh, like really good in a soundtrack no, I know for okay <laughs> like if people were dancing yeah. like slow dancing in a ballroom see the vision y'all see the vision but you know what I really like about the song they sang together the entire time. Right. They did not break up verses, and they didn't break up at all. Except for the was a duet. intro, which I love. Yeah, it was a duet. Was I really love that. But the way that Sierra was introduced right. was really smooth yeah. and really nice. And I like how they both sang in, like, I don't know if it was two different registers. Maybe they just have two it different It was harmonizing. Harmon I guess yeah. harmonizing, it was harmonizing. yeah. Harmonizing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying that this and bad Don't moments. you ever embarrass me like that again. <laughs> no, I'm just saying this and bad omens are the best songs on the album. And I don't think there is really like that much of a is big. definitely, yeah. Jordan. Tapping my leg, this bitch gonna grab me. All that's happening. All that's happening. It's all here. You're mad because you don't have the meat to make the same I, sound. You just heard my meat. That was bone. I like it. 
That's Ashton. Not only do you do the drums, but you sing! I watch the weeks fly by, I'm not myself when you're not there. No matter how long, I still care. Let me say this about this song. Number one, I love that it's three minutes and 33 seconds. Yeah, that's, really nice. that that's really nice. I feel like this song is really good when you're high. Yeah. And like, it, it sounds very psychedelic. It sounds I, I, okay. very 60s almost. I will give you that. Yeah, that it, is sounds, fair. it sounds very psychedelic. It, it that is, is it fair. Is, I love that. Fine and, and, vibes. And exactly. And to me, that's also pop rock because you're mixing, you know, rock yeah. is, 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 you know, um, I think of like 60s and Woodstock and that was a lot of rock yeah. music. Yeah. And so definitely taking inspiration or, or, from there. Yeah. I really actually did like that. I think it's a good break. I can't say that I played that one over and over and over again. Yeah. For me personally, but it was a good break, especially coming after that banger. Especially coming after that. That's what thing. I said. Especially. Especially. You didn't say especially. You said especially. Okay, can you? I wanted to, to be the English police. Getcha. But no, it definitely felt like a, a haze. I agree with you. Yeah. Um, this I'm seeing here was a riff based song and they oh, yeah, wanted sure. that to be the case. They wanted to make a two door cinema club meets Tame Impala. <laughs> Um, you know, which is all very, uh, yeah, it, it, they yeah. were very inspired by Coldplay and U2. This one was not my favorite. I didn't vibe with it. Uh, but I think it's because of the direction that they went in. I know it was intentional, so respect for that. For my personal taste, though, I think I would have gone in a different direction. I would have made it sound more full, um, and a little more punchy. Okay. Because I really liked the melody. Like, I would listen to the acapella of this. Cause it was that good, right? Right. But the the instrumental for me, Maybe I just didn't click. Yeah, that. for me personally. But yeah. I would have made it sound more full and a little bit bigger. I think I would have. This could have been one of my favorites had they gone that route. But fair enough. I mean, I agree with you though. I think that it is a nice little break. But I am ready for a little tick up. I need another bad omens moment. It's five a.m. Coming to my couch and everyone I ever knew is standing in my house. I still think about the times we were heavy. Vultures spinning up above all what's left of me. We go stupid every night. What a tragedy. I'm still here in the dark. Okay. Back where we started. And now it's five a.m. Coming to my Oh, I love that. that. Took my foot off the brake. It's, it's not, not an accident. accident. Like, not a literal accident, like in a car. Yeah. But also, like, what I did was on not an accident. about this song. Yeah, 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 say it, say it. Is it in the third person? No. You don't think so? I didn't get that. Explain your theory though. I'm, I'm thinking they, okay, I'm thinking they, they, they are talking about somebody else, like, hey, I'm not the same when I'm at these parties. I know everybody in my house, but I'm really looking for you. Uh -huh. But you also brought out a side of me that maybe isn't there anymore, or I'm still left dealing with it. Wow, so you don't, you don't attend these kind of things anymore, but I still have, there's still remnants of you or what we did that linger. Or it's like a like a third person. What's the third person? Like they're basically saying like I stay too late, I should kick me out. Like I, I don't do this anymore. I don't go to parties. You you don't like look in the mirror and say, like, you don't even go to parties anymore. Like you don't do this. Okay. Does that make sense? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Something I was thinking I, about. No, that that could be fair. What I was getting from it actually was like someone outgrowing you. 
the person they're looking for ah. has outgrown parties, has okay. outgrown them. The lyrics here, I'm still here in the darkness back where we started. You made me a heartless monster. I'm caught up in distractions, fatal attractions. Okay. I'm starting to come undone. I have not grown. I'm still stuck in this scene. I'm looking for, for you, you, but you don't go to parties anymore because <laughs> you've moved on you've from this. this. You know, you've outgrown this. Absolutely. I that's think, what I was Okay, I think, I think that's more... That makes more yeah, sense. And, and I that think uh, the reason sense. why I feel like it might be negative is because they say, I always stay too late. I should kick me out. Right. It's like, I shouldn't be here. Like, maybe I should, you know, mm -hmm. move on from this Maybe I, it is time for me to move on. Yeah, it's time for them to yeah, move on. Yeah, I'm done. I, I'm passionate. I actually love that storytelling. That was good. Yeah, I, I think yeah. that, but another self-reflective song. Yeah. I think this might be one of my favorites, to be honest with you. Okay. It was very vibey, yeah. but it had that punch yeah. that I like. Is it lonely where you are? All the way across the room With a knife inside your heart I feel you too I die for you, I die for you, I die for you All I hear is all the things you said in my head Ricocheting off the bed, not the left foot I'm left the emotional bed All the things you said in my head When you know me like you do It's an open lash, you got me I'm in love Yep, 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 yep. Um, okay. I don't want to, I don't want to speak prematurely about my top three, but Blender's definitely in it. It has to be because, I, because that's such a good song. I and feel Blender. like there's this debate. I feel like there is this debate What's with singles. Debate? That singles can't still be the best song off the album. And that is Whoa, so false. Here, because a lot of times singles are still, there's a reason they're that's singles. That's why they're singles. Yeah, they're, they're so, great. This, Blender's definitely within my top Three. Yeah. We did hear this song before the album dropped. Yeah, we just didn't do a reaction. Um, we just didn't do a reaction to it, but love it. Love it. It brought the energy right up. Yes, it did. So I I love Blender, which is so interesting because we're coming towards the end of the standard album with like four yeah. more songs left. So I'm really interested to see the way they take it out there. Yeah. But Blender, perfect spot to have. Perfect. I agree. That. Ten hype track. of a song, ten, ten track. track. Yeah, and I think it perfectly reflects uh, the energy, sort of from the beginning. But, a little yeah, bit more. maybe like Carousel, Bad yeah. Omens, definitely. Even like Complete Mess, because uh, they what a mess. Yeah, I heard that what, what a mess, mess. In the song. What a so mess. even the lyrics reflect that. I feel like this even has a little remnants of you don't go to parties. Maybe this song is more reflective of how things were when this person did go to parties. Did go to parties, maybe. Very wild, like like off the bed, and they were talking about like. I don't know. And I love furniture the in the last song yeah, too. The I don't know. Yeah. This song shines on the album. We're back in a quick pace section. Yeah. yeah. I like this this I like what the caramel represents the sweetness of something yeah in the beginning then yeah you, then you feel the come down and you got to pop some more caramel and you in that gotta, mouth 
Yeah. And experience it again. <laughs> this was very wavy. Felt like I was by the I ocean. I was gonna say, yeah. Yeah, very surfer-like. I felt like a surfer dude. Yeah. Um, named Austin. I can't say it's my favorite. Or that, again, maybe I would play this one. I like it. But it, it definitely gave me that wavy surfer by the beach ride yeah. the wave. It definitely gave me that feel, which I really appreciate. Mm -hmm. And like Jordan said, they always tend to add an element in there that makes it very different and allow certain parts of the song to stand out. Yeah. Um, that ending was really cool, very different. I didn't expect that. But yeah, can't say I love Caramel, but can't say I hate it at the same time. I'm indifferent about it. Would you it. say that it's a filler? It's a little bit of a filler. I didn't get filler. As we all know, with albums, there has to be points where it slows down. down. I feel like that was a very organic... Slow down? Slow down, yeah. I don't feel like it was right. boring. I feel like it actually came at the right time. Can we also give it up to Callum and Ashton for... Yeah. I'm, I'm hearing their voices more. I wonder yes. if you don't go to parties that Callum... And yeah, they took a little more yeah, than yeah, stuff. Yeah, let's... Yeah. I like that. Honey, I can see you when you're preaching off the moon If it was only rational until it all becomes A feeling of the past living on the summer sun But you call me all my shit and my jaw is on the floor I got to have somebody never feel the word to say I love their outros. Yeah, their outros are really good. I like that one. I like, I like that, that one, one too. I do. I really like this the story of a friendship. I yeah. love that. Like that's so wholesome and it's nice to know that, you know, when boy bands get together that they actually do become, you know, close friends and yeah. I mean you spend so much time together and creating and whatnot. So yeah. I did really like that actually. I think that was a really good tick up. I like the message switch, so not necessarily about love or you know, any significant other in particular, but really a song um, just celebrating themselves and their friendship and, yeah. you know, the relationships that they built with each other and confiding. And I do love that, too, and I love to love you for God's sakes. It's just, I love that. You, right. know, you, you hear the passion in that. I really like it. The honesty in it, too. Yeah. I feel like the fifth album is such a monumental moment in one's career. Yes. Like, it is... A milestone, I would say, the fifth yeah. album. So I like that on this album we're having celebrations of their friendship. We're having celebration of their career. Yeah. Uh, the group in general, everything that they've accomplished and this journey that they've been on together. Yeah. Uh, we only just started our journey today. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, but... I can tell that, like, it's genuine, you yeah. know, like you're saying. Yeah. So I do like that there's that celebration in there on the fifth album. I like that the album's even just called Five Sauce Five. It's number five. Yeah. Fifth one. Yeah. So, you know, I'm looking forward to the six already. <laughs> Being that we've played with the topic before, I'm feeling like with the album, most of the songs are hitting the nail on the head. Yeah. I just feel like with this sound, because they've got a long album, maybe sometimes certain songs that deserve more credit can sound filler by the yes. end of the album. Yes. Because it took so long to get there. But the topic is what's making it be, like making you pay attention Stand to it. Stand out. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. I am looking forward to see how they're going to take this out. Yeah. But still, very impressed. Very. Okay. 
catch up again Can I make up for lost time? If this bitch in the hallway Bitch in my head For Saturday I'm watching it all Till I figure it out It's so hard to watch Everything I want Everything I want Spinning down the drain Yeah mm. The way that went yeah. out. You know what's so crazy? That's in my top three. Really? It is. It is. Which wow. means I have my top three. Wow. You know, I hate this album. <laughs> I do. I do. <sighs> I think that's quite evident. Um, because all the good songs are really short. That's an amazing song. I like that one. What? Jordan, you gonna take me off? No, no, because, because listen, I always like I always feel like you got something to say about the best song. No, first of all, it is true. We have some great songs here that are really short, but I mean, maybe that's a good thing because it leaves you wanting more. Yeah, I did like Bleach. I was trying to listen for like the meaning. I mean, I guess the meaning is just starting over. It's starting over. And maybe Bleach, I don't know what Bleach, Bleach in the hallways is, means. Like, like paint on the wall. Like, what does that mean? Okay, that I'm not necessarily sure. About. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe they literally just found a bottle of Bleach. If there was just Bleach in the hallway. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm put it in my it hair, and then I'm gonna hair. wash it out. Because Bleach is such a strong cleaning agent. Yes, right? that's true. Yeah. And so it's it's I love it. What a different way that to approach true. starting over. Agreed. Literally, creative, lyrically, as always. That part, the little part where everything I was spinning down the drain. That was killer. Amazing. Listen, I this is one of the best. This is top three. This it's top three. I really don't know what my top three is. Uh, well, be. that has to be in it. Well, we'll see. I have to hear Red Line. Well, I know, but I'm just saying. There's the sound of the doors of an underground train shutting, a reference to the red line in London. That's amazing. The closing doors close off the song and usher in a new destination. The next stop on the train, the next stage of someone's life. I love that. And to the deluxe tracks too. Too, yeah. That's Hold so on. Smart. As the last song on the album. That's clever. Because in this song, the re it, when they say the red line, they're talking about basically a point of no return. You're yeah. at that line where it's like, if I go any further. Uh, yeah. Like, I'm over there forever. Like, I can't cross back. That's the red line. You don't cross that line. It's how yeah. I'm taking it. I don't know if there were themes of self-medication or numbing in here. I think that there were. Because Luke says, I'm on the red line sinking Aperol. Another vessel in a winter coat. Aperol is, you, you know, know, it's an alcohol. Yeah. Um, um, or it's a liquor. So. I do feel like this is the first time that actually kind of goes more into detail. Because it's hard to fake when I'm not faded. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like this song is probably like, probably probably like the most personal when it comes to struggle maybe i mean i don't know i don't know if they've struggled with anything i don't know how true yeah, that I'm is you guys sure. can let us know yeah but like we're saying the theme of the song does look like it's the actor says he hates himself Self and reaching out for someone's help it just sounds like hmm a very interesting way to end it because like that SOS. sounds very sad it sounds yeah. like an sos on the five sauce album the five sos album. come on come on i honestly liked it i loved the feel i oddly enough yeah. although it ended very sad i loved the message when it comes to you know closing the standard album that's one thing i could take away the the, the lyricism yeah. impeccable writing this so, is really good writing this I, is... I love the way it closes 
you know, those 14 tracks. It's amazing. That Perfect. sound effect Good. is getting me. I love details like that. Yeah, so, yeah. love that. I can tell by the look in your eyes that you don't want to fight on a Friday night. I can tell by the look in your eyes because you don't ever trust this mind of mine. You're watching me lie when I say that I'm fine. Give, uh, listen, I, I gotta give credit where credit is I due. cannot give you my top three until I hear this whole album because songs really? like Mood Swings come from the left corner and say hi. I know. I exist. I know. My thing is. That was good. My favorite line. Weaponized words can get in the way. Because yeah. that just totally describes the song. Mood the song. Swings. When your mood is swinging back and forth, you just you, say a whole pile of yeah, stuff. Yeah, you literally say that. And you're not sure what's going to stick and what could be the end. Yeah. What could be so detrimental that you oh, can't come back from this it. this was such a good. Song. And even coming after red line because with mood yeah. swing sometimes you can hit that red line. And yeah, there's no going back. Oh, when you're under the influence. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, that too. You say that too. Influence. Yeah. So, wow, and we heard from everyone. Was... No. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah, we heard from everybody. Yeah. So that was so, really special as well. That was nice. Oh, mood swings was a. Uh... Let me find that mood swings oh, need to be on the standard. We'll sleep it. Did mood swings need to be on the standard? Should have seen me like a year ago, year ago. I was someone you don't even know. Lights will guide you, so run. Tell me why that could have been a great closer. Oh, uh, but it's also a great deluxe track. I will say that. Yeah, like, it's a good little bonus. It is, and it, it sounds more, more like more a bonus. deluxe edition track. Yeah, yeah but yeah. that that could have been a, a dope closer. No, that was a great deluxe edition track. I would actually. say so too. That yeah. was really that chorus, hard hitting chorus. Favorite thing about it is the that vocals. Is it's probably one I respect a lot because of the vocals. Only thing is, I wish the drums were more consistent through the chorus. I love big sounding songs, okay? When, yeah. when a song sounds big, it just pushes my emotion through. So, you know what this album feels like? I feel like with it being 19 tracks, it just felt like, you know what, we're gonna give you guys a whole bunch of music. Yeah, it feels like one just big playlist. Just enjoy it. Yeah, like one big playlist. Yeah. Uh, there's, it's a little co more cohesive Easy. to be just a playlist, sure. but it does feel like a playlist of, here's great music, guys. Talk about it, I don't want to talk about it Got too many things on my mind That's why I'm always high You always got one, two, three, four, five more things to say Don't mind me, I'm just feeling kind of broken Kind of broken If you need me, I'll be here with my emotions uh Oh
done and broken So I'll be here with my emotions I feel like that is really special to put on this album. A song yeah. just for Michael. I saw that he also produced it. Yeah, I love that. I'm not gonna lie. At first, I was not feeling it. Mm-hmm. And I knew I wasn't feeling it sonically. Then as the song went on, I was like, okay, I realized, obviously we realized it was all gonna be Michael. Yeah. Um, which made it extra special. Um, I love the message. Yeah. But again, I wasn't sure how I felt yeah, about it sonically. Nice. Towards the end, I did really end up liking it. Yeah. The bridge is my favorite part. The bridge was I think that bridge, really sonically, lyrically, is amazing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I actually ended up liking the song. Um, but I think that the cherry on top is the fact that is it is a it's song Michael, yeah. full of Michael. And I can tell it's very personal to him. Without knowing a lot about yeah, him. Yeah, I would think that it I is. can tell it's very personal for him. So I, I, I like, like that, that all the... like I didn't even realize that Michael was singing as much as he was in Complete, Complete Mess. Complete Mess. But I like how they're all shining in their respective spaces. Yeah. But also, everyone's singing. So I just think it's a good celebration of the band itself. Michael, shout out to you. Yeah, shout, shout out. out to you. Oh, that was okay. a moment in yeah. the album. That was a moment. Okay. I love the heat. I love the noise. I love my name inside your voice. Do you still? So a bloodhound is a dog, right? Yes. Sniffing it out. Sniff it out. Sniff it out. But I'm dumb enough. Yes. To drown it out. I like that. And now we are nearing the end. So we're I at really, the end. We're at the end, technically. So I really want to see how they take that out. But bloodhound, killer chorus. I, yeah, killer chorus. I love how they began it with such a high note. And a lot of the time, I think that was all of them on the chorus. I'm dumb enough to drown it, drown it out. But I can't let it go. I feel like that was know. a theme throughout the album a lot, too. Yeah. Knowing what's right for you. Yeah. And still choosing what's wrong because it yeah. feels good. I feel like we can all relate to that. Yeah, like I said, it's another Michael production. Michael was, I agree, sounded really good. Yeah, on his, his verse. second verse. I feel like his voice sounded different though. I know, compared to like, like emotions, like more right soulful after. a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. Let me find out Michael's versatility. It ended with tears. I like that one as a closer because Julia, yeah. it's about feeling 
and allowing right. yourself to feel your emotions. Right. Tears right. are good for right. you. Right. I like that. Me too. Hitting the ground, pulling me down. Ashton did a great job. Yeah, he wrote it. Yeah. And I said, it's only right that he leads the vocal. And it was only right, because he killed that. Yeah, killed I think that. that that was a really good one, too. That was a good one. Wow, anyway. the deluxe, y'all, the deluxe is pretty full. Yeah. I'll feel better when I let myself sink deeper, deeper. That's so true. When yeah, you let you yourself feel out. your emotions all the way through, you feel a release. You feel yeah. clearer afterwards, clearer headed, your, your mind, body, and soul. Yeah. Mind, body, soul, spirit, whatever the fuck. <laughs> your heart feels good. No, okay? yeah, it's true. So, that is five souls five. Five sauce five. Five sauce five. Sauce. They got sauce. sauce. They got sauce. First time listening to them, but honestly, I am very impressed. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I was a little bit like, oh, you know, I don't really listen to them, but I was thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. For such a long album, not gonna lie, it's an hour and four minutes, yeah. I wasn't bored. Like, I, I, I truly wasn't. Yeah. Um, you know, and then seeing where the standard ended, I, I think it ended at a very good spot. And then the Deluxe Edition songs just really, you know, were the cherry on top. But for the group, the songwriting is amazing. And I'm gonna repeat that. The songwriting is probably what I'm going to take away the most, yeah. except for my top five from this album. It is yeah. incredible. And then I'm gonna say sonically, they really do all complement each other very well. Very cohesive group. Like I said, you know, I, I knew them from the young blood. You know, but this, but this. I'm glad you finally came around to listening. Thank you, okay. Yeah, I agree with everything that Julian is saying, guys. This was probably, could be, Let's finish out the year first, but it could be one of my favorite releases of the year. No, very Just true. because I told him behind the scenes, I really love the cover. I don't know why. I just yeah. love the colors. It's very cool. And he pointed out it looks like a puzzle. Yeah, it's like, like, like puzzle like pieces. Puzzle piece, yeah, so. the puzzle pieces to each other. And when you listen to the Best album, friends. Best friends. I've said this before, but what I love about the group is that they all know how to share. Okay? Yes. Everyone brings something to the table. Yes. Um, you know, shout out to the groups where you have artists who just play the instruments and you have artists that just sing. You're great too. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. But I do think that it is special when a group is not afraid to explore within yeah. their own talents. I love that they all play such a pivotal role. Yeah, in their sound. it's important. And, um, and I feel like they really do come together and they really do collaborate on the sound. Yes. And like we, like we said, you can hear how genuine it is that they are, it's almost like they are genuine fans of each other. I was going to you know say I mean? that. Yeah. And, I think that ha and I think that definitely plays a role into their longevity. This is a long lasting boy band. It is. I made mean, five albums in. There are five albums in, you know? Yeah, I think that this was great though. It's very bright. I feel, even though it does play with some dark themes. Um, the only thing I will say is like, looking at this album, I look at Five Sauce Five as a celebration. So 19 tracks, as much music as possible, makes sense to me. Yes. However, I could have seen them shortening it to like 10 or 11 tracks for a the standard. Bit, a little bit, a little bit. I could bit. have seen like two or three go. And then the deluxe, I mean, it's a deluxe, so do whatever you so want. But um, even with the fillers though, because there are some, I yeah. still think that it's a great body of work, and I genuinely enjoyed listening to it. Like you said, I didn't get bored. Being that there are 19 tracks, yes, I figured we should do a top five. Okay, so what is your top five? The only one in order is number one. Okay. Bad Omens, You Don't Go to Parties, Blender, Mood Swings, and Caramel. I think it's my top five. Okay, cool. So you're missing one. Oh. Good job. My top five is gonna be Bad Omens, Older, Blender, Bleach, Red line. Mm. That's my top five. Okay, that's a, yeah. that's a pretty solid top five. Ah, thank you. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Some of them are wrong, but I'll give you that. No, no. no. Yeah, because Moon Swings deserve some attention. No, and I, I understand. That. Yeah. But nonetheless, five sauce. You got the sauce. Yeah. Um, very, very, very impressed. And who knows? Maybe we'll um revisit another. Oh, well, Another album. I mean, I feel like you, Calm is calling my name very calmly. Oh, okay. But okay. very loudly. Okay, okay, okay. There's nothing like being pulled. Yeah. Like that gravitational pull. I feel like my curls are just being a little... You know. Just a little tug. Yeah, just a little tug tug. As always, we'd love to know what you guys thought. Let us know your top five down below in the comments. If you enjoyed watching us react, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. That way you know when we upload. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>